Okay guys, we got a 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer here. This is the SE, one step up from the base model, all-wheel drive, uh, has a cold weather package on it, has a backup camera, heated seats, a couple little options, uh, come with the all-wheel drive. Uh, the base model comes with a basic stereo. Say so a lot of you guys, I know I've read in the forums, uh, a lot of you guys are complaining about some of the upper models don't have no aux plug okay this the base model has the RCA jack aux plug that's down here and when you get anything higher than the base model it eliminates it and it gives you Bluetooth which unless you have a phone or mp3 player or something that has Bluetooth it sucks now, most of your phones are up to date and would have Bluetooth, but in my opinion, it sucks. Then they give you, up in here, they give you this USB port, which doesn't work with pretty much anything but a iPod or iPhone. Basically, it's based on Apple, and from what I've read, it's slow and everything. I don't own Apple, so we ain't going to use it. It won't recognize my Android phone. It will charge it, but uh, it will not recognize it. It will not pull any music off or anything that way. I have not tried a thumb drive with music on it. Uh, it doesn't even interest me. I have MP3 player in my phone I typically use for uh, my music. Okay, so this is basically junk. And they did away with the RCA jacks. So, I did searching and searching and searching, and I found some hacks where uh, you can splice in to, uh, this pin and that pin, and, of course, you're going to void your warranty. Uh, and it's just, most people don't have the knowledge to, to do that kind of stuff. And you got to tear the dash apart, you know, pull your stereo out. So the, so this model come with the, the touch screen because it has a backup camera. You've got the little monitor, touch screen, all of that. Now, what I did find by this part number right here. Okay, this is the part number I bought from a genuine Mitsubishi parts dealer. 8718A002. Now there is a 03, which is the same thing, but it's just a hair different. Okay, here's your factory aux plug. That should come with it, or with your base model. Now the A003, the other one, it comes with the third port for video. From what I understand, this one won't. Uh, which I know it doesn't, because it only has three pins. Uh, comes with the video. And you can use that on the navigation system stereo. I believe you can use the, the video input with that. Okay, so this is your factory plug. Now, I talked to the dealership. The dealership had no idea. I talked to the, the, the service manager at my local Mitsubishi dealer. And he had no clue. Said he couldn't do it. He was unsure if the wiring harness was inside the dash. If it would even hook up to the stereo. If the stereo would read it. It gave me a whole line. Uh... I bought this part, cost me about 50 bucks, and I got to looking, and if you pop this off, I had already had this off, I put it back on for you guys, and I don't have my tool. Okay, it pops off, you get like a little flathead screwdriver or something, a little plastic safe pry, uh, that'll pop right off, you get a little dummy cover. Now, I have already undone this, but if you have small fingers, this will work. You can see right here. You can see that indent. There's a dummy plug on the back of this console right here. And I was able to get in there. It took me a little bit. But I was able to get in there and unplug this without tearing the dash apart. That This is plugged in and it's pin side uh, connector side is up so it's plugged in this way right into this spot right here so you can reach up in there push this pin down and pull out on it and here's your plug 
Now, plug this in. And snapped back in there. Now there it is. Okay. So you get it plugged in. Plug in your RCA jacks. I know, old school for 2015. Should just be a headphone port. So you got a Y adapter. Headphone port. 8th inch, 3.5 millimeter. Standard headphone port to your uh, RCA jacks. So they're plugged in. You got that. Plug that into your MP3 player, mobile device, anything, you know, output sound on a uh, headphone jack. And when you turn the car on, turn the key on, your stereo lights up, and of course from your menu, you hit next, aux, and you're in, you're live. It will play, it works, <clears throat> no problems. I am very happy now that I got my aux port back. CDs are somewhat out of date and of course I don't like the Bluetooth and my mp3 player doesn't have Bluetooth and the USB port on these unless you have Apple it basically sucks so problem solved $50 piece straight from Mitsubishi no hacks no splicing straight plug-and-play didn't even have to tear the dash apart and we're set up and got our auxiliary tunes. Hope that helped you. Thanks for watching.